Hello and welcome to VectorVest. My name is Kathy O'Nan, Manager of Internal Training, and I'll be bringing you this week's special presentation. Custom Moving Averages. Using moving averages is a way to smooth out price action. Currently, we're running the Worry-Free Investing Challenge, and from the entries, we've seen some very creative searches. In these searches, we have found several using custom moving averages in the parameters of their search. In last week's review of the Worry-Free Challenge, Todd Schaefer, Manager of Research, showed some of the top entries and their parameters. Several of these entries use simple moving averages. Simple moving averages have a look-back period, or the number of bars specified by you, the user. Short-term moving averages use a relatively small number of price bars, and they react quickly to price changes. Long-term moving averages use a relatively large number of price bars. They're great for identifying longer-term trends. They do react slowly to those changes. Moving averages provide an objective measure of trend direction by smoothing that data. A moving average can cut down on the noise of a price chart. Look at the direction of the moving average to get a basic idea of which way the price is moving. A moving average can also act as a support level. Here's a graph of the Dow Jones Industrial. I have a moving average of price 5 period, if you'll look just to the right in our control panel. I'll add the 10-day moving average, and notice how this moves away from the price, and finally the 50-day moving average, showing us the larger trends but does not react as quickly. To add an additional moving average on any item, just right-click in the parameter column, choose Add Moving Average. We offer Simple, Exponential, and Weighted. I'll choose the Simple. Once I have this in my parameter column, I'll change the time frame down to a 3 and put the check mark and now it's reflected on the graph. I notice that my 5 and my 3 both are the color white, so I'll need to change one by right clicking on the parameter itself and say change style. I'll change the color, I'll make this a bright orange, and now we can differentiate between the 5 and the 3. I'll actually zoom in to better see those. In our Worry-Free Investing Challenge, here are just a few of the custom moving averages that have been used. We're seeing moving averages of price, the stop price, the comfort index, and also of relative timing. Here's one of the entries to the challenge using moving average of the stop price. These are standard within the VectorVest program if you have the add-on module called ProTrader. ProTrader is included with our real-time subscription, and it's a one-time purchase for those other end-of-day and intraday subscriptions. If you're interested in the ProTrader, there will be a link in the views for a two-week free trial. Or you can upgrade to real-time for a 30-day trial to test drive ProTrader. This is actually the search that is using the parameters we use to identify stocks that are called the Midas Touch. We're, we're looking at those character of line traits. Notice this has a 40-day moving average of relative timing being higher than 13 weeks ago. Again, that's one of the Midas Touch criteria. And this search is also filtering by the watch list in the S&P 500. For those that have ProTrader, you'll find this search in the cherry picking folder called the Colt 45 Automated. The only difference is the sort. The Worry-Free Investing Challenge required we have a sort by relative safety. This entry is using moving averages of the Comfort Index. Third line of criteria, the stock's Comfort Index is greater than the stock's Comfort Index 10-day moving average. The 10-day moving average of Comfort is greater than the 20-day. The 20-day moving average of comfort greater than the 40-day. So we're seeing that nice persistent rise of comfort. We also have the 10-day moving average of relative timing greater than the 15-day moving average of relative timing. When a short term goes above the longer term, it's indicating that upward trend. On this entry, we're going to focus on the moving average that is the third from the bottom of the list of parameters. It's at the time of search, the stock's price is greater than the stock's 
55 day moving average of price. And this is a custom fill and I'll show you how to build this in the custom fill builder. For these moving averages, again, you do need the ProTrader module. The numbers that are here in this parameter beside stock 55 day moving average of price is a number that is in development to identify this. So don't worry about the values that are listed here. In the upper right hand corner in our tools, our first selection is the custom field builder. We're going to build a new custom field. We'll start in the lower left hand corner with the field. I'm choosing price volume, price split adjusted, and now I have moving average. For those without ProTrader, you will not see this function. I can now choose from our selection or now I can create a custom. I'm going to choose my period to a three day. Once I've entered that, it automatically names my custom field. In the lower right hand corner, we need to validate this custom field. Once that has been done, we now save the changes and our custom field has now been saved for our use. Now let's use a search using that custom field. I'm going to use our folder search is prudent and we'll use our top VST vector stocks. If we run the search, we're pulling from the database the top stocks ranked by VST. Now we can say that we want our stocks custom field our three day moving average of price greater than our stocks vector vest field and we can choose which one we want. For instance, a 10 day moving average of price. Now we'll run the search and this now will screen our candidates of stocks price, the three day being above the 10 day moving average of price. For those wanting to use that 3 and 8 crossover, which we're hearing is very popular, let's go to the tools. We'll walk through the steps of building that custom field again. I'll move up to the tools, custom field builder. From our fields, we'll now choose the price volume. We'll want to use split adjusted because we're using moving averages. For a review of actual and split adjusted, review last week's special presentation to split or not to split. Choosing moving averages, I'll choose custom and now we'll select an 8 period. Click the OK, validate the entry here in the lower right hand corner of this window. Once the validation is complete, we'll save the changes. Now if I want to change my parameters for a 3 above the 8, go to stocks my custom fill and there's that eight day moving average of price and run the search again. I'll look at a stock graph just to confirm. I'll right click, view stock graph and we'll add these moving averages to the graph. I have a moving average of price 40. I'll remove the check mark and take this down to an eight period. I'll right click on price, add moving average simple, 10, and I'll change this down to a 3 period. And I'll scroll in so that we can see this. We have the crossover, the 3 crossed above the 8, giving us a short term bullish indication. Several of our entries used a moving average of relative timing. We'll go to the tools, use our custom field builder, and our fills, now we'll choose capital appreciation and find relative timing. Choose moving average. We can choose 5, 10, 13 week, 26 week, or a 52 week or build our custom. One of our entries used a 3 day moving average of relative timing. I'll validate the selection and save my changes. Now we'll find this in the list of my custom fields. One moving average that I often use is a moving average of volume. In tools, custom field builder, in our fields, I'll use price volume, volume, moving average, 10 day moving average of volume. I'll validate that selection. I'll save the change. 
I'll remove this last parameter we just added for the crossover. We're, we're using our top VST vector stocks. I like buying stocks that are going up in price, and I also like stocks on higher volume. One way that I could identify these stocks, price volume, price split adjusted, I can use that trending function, higher, and we'll say for two weeks. If I run the search, these stocks have to be going up in price over the last two weeks. But I would like to find stocks that are not only going up in price, but an increase in volume. So with this custom field that I have built, I'll choose Stock, My Custom Field. I now have that 10-day moving average of volume. I want this to be greater than the stock's price volume, the 50-day moving average. So the short-term average of volume is greater than the longer term. So let's run that search and see our candidates. I'll graph the top 10. We'll add volume to the graph. I'll remove relative timing. And let's look at these graphs on a three-month basis. Not only is the stock's price trending up over the last two weeks, but volume has increased. Let's look at the next one. Very nice rise in price and a spike in volume. I'm toggling through this list in the right-hand column by either selecting the arrows or just clicking in the margin. Now let's build a moving average of our comfort index. We'll go to Tools, Custom Field Builder, and our Fill Selection, Capital Appreciation. Notice all the items that you can incorporate a moving average. I'm going to choose the Comfort Index, choose Moving Average, and I'll choose the Custom. We'll change this to the 3. Validate and save the changes. Our library of custom fields is growing. If you need assistance on building these custom fields, please give us a call at 888-658-7638 or your number on your training tab for international numbers. Look in the VectorVest views for that link for the trial offer to the ProTrader add-on module. Thank you for attending the VectorVest University.